Welcome to the Spa Hive. I'm Julie Pinky, your host for today's show. In the Spa Hive, we are dishing up killer industry buzz, tactical business insights, and grassroots inspiration. I promise our conversations will always be real, raw, honest, and sometimes messy with experts from across the globe meant to show you how to find your own joy, your own divine purpose, and the power of your spirit animal. In the Spa Hive, I can help you have it all, the business and life of your dreams. Join me on this wild ride. Hello and welcome back to the Spa Hive podcast. I'm so excited to have you back with us again and I hope that you're excited to have me, Julie Pinky, and the Spa Hive back for your listening and learning pleasure. So today I wanted to talk about why we took a pause. We started the podcast in um, late 2020, early 2021, coming sort of out of the pandemic, right? Using my air quotes for those that are just listening. And it was a huge success. But like some things often do, and I bet you can relate to this, they took a huge toll on me. It took a huge toll on me because my number one goal in the spa hive is to give you the most support that any spa community can offer. I want you to have a place to come, an ear that's open and willing to listen. I want you to have a coach, a consultant, a mentor and a friend that can help you through the most challenging times of your business and let's be honest, our personal life as well because business and personal go hand in hand. So after 2021, I had grown the podcast super successful with our new Spa Hive community, lots of new members doing lots of monthly trainings and calls and supporting all the things that I love to do the most. But going into 2022, I wanted to dedicate a little bit more time into my community, so decided to take a pause on the podcast. Because like you, as a business owner, it's hard to be a jack of all trades, right? It's hard to be, what do they say, the dishwasher, the cook, the whatever it's called, bottle cleaner, I forget what they call it. but And it's hard to juggle all those balls in the air and not drop one. So instead of sacrificing my commitment that I have made to our spa community to be able to help you learn and grow and achieve all of your desires and goals, I took a step back on the podcast. You know how they say 2020 was the great pause, um, that everything stopped, right? The world stopped. Well, in 2020, I felt the calling to ramp up. So when spas were shutting down, I felt that you needed me the most then. So we jumped right into our Hindsight is 2020 series that we started in April 2020. And that went for, I think it was 20 weeks, I can't remember now, but it went on for a really long time where we had amazing speakers and trainings and learnings and we partnered with other organizations and other consultants to bring you the very best in training and education because you know that I believe we are all stronger together. So to bring you the very best resources is my goal and my own personal dreams being achieved and fulfilled. So in 2020, we had the Hindsight is 2020 series. If you remember, if you don't remember, you will be able to find it on YouTube if you want to take 
part in any of those conversations or trainings and hear what we talked about. Some really great resources in there. Um, but I saw the opportunity in 2020 for us to take that pause and look back. When did you ever, would you ever have the opportunity to wave a magic wand over your business? And stop and think about, if I was to open my business again, we all think about that, right? If I was starting over, what would I do differently? Well, it was your opportunity to start over and do the things that you would do differently because hindsight is always 2020, no matter what year we're in, and make the changes necessary to ensure that you have a solid foundation when you are reopening your business. So I poured everything I had in 2020 into resources for our spa com community. And into 2021, as we were starting to ramp up again, and you were starting to see business returning in 2021 back to what they call the new normal. Again, air quotes, right? New normal. Um, it was my joy and my passion to support you in this journey. Then when 2022 came, I felt like it was my own great pause. So as I went into 2022, there were all the things that I wanted to accomplish for my own business and all the things that I wanted to provide for you as support. And I found that I really needed some recovery myself. I think that I kind of breezed through 2022 2020 and 2021 without even taking a pause. So in 2022, I got back to myself. And I don't know if you can relate to this, and that's why I'm sharing, is that sometimes we need to take a step back to be able to take a step forward. And so I, every year, choose a word that um, I don't make New Year's resolutions, but I choose a word that resonates with me that I am going to use throughout the year. So in 2022, say that 2022 times, um, in 2022, I chose the word discipline because I felt like I could use some discipline. Sometimes, and as a business owner, tell me if you can relate, we're at like a high level, right? We're flying at 39,000 feet. Sometimes we're at 49,000 feet, right? And when you get too high up there, you sometimes get shaky, right? But we have all these great ideas and how we're going to explode our businesses and how we're going to help our customers better and creating new products and services and all of the things, right? You know, creating wellness retreats and, um, you know, new like sound healing baths and, you know, getting new equipment and all the things that we think are going to be amazing. And they are going to be amazing, but we can't do it all at once. And sometimes our minds get all bogged down and jumbled up with all the things that you want to do. And sometimes you have to take it back to the fundamentals, the things that are in line with your mission and your vision. And in upcoming weeks, we're going to talk more about your mission and vision to make sure that we're staying on track. So for me, in 2022, in order to be disciplined, that means that I could not have a thousand ideas swirling around in my head. I had to commit them to paper and get them out of my head. And you probably have heard before, um, and if you're listening, I am showing you um, the my next 90 days. So my saver planner that I use that I love. And so what I do each week, and this is not new and it was not new in 2022, is I brain dump. 
And so in 2022, I was really conscious, and this is an, an example of what my brain dump, right, looked like yesterday. Um, in 2022, I was very conscious to back up, write my vision, my annual vision, my monthly, my 90 day. You know, I try not to plan out like, yes, I have those big, hairy, audacious goals. Like in five years, I want to X. But I try not to get hung up with those long-term visions. I try to operate on a 90-day cycle and what I can make the most impact in, in 90 days. So in 2022, I focused on that and I focused on having more fun. I focused on working smarter, not harder. I focused on perfecting what it might be like to work two and a half to three hours a day rather than 24 seven. And I know as a spa operator, that is not always possible, but I am going to help in 2023, give you some solid tips. If you listen to our podcast every single week, if you join our free coffee chats every single month, and even if you were to join our Spa High VIP, I'm going to give you solid tips on how to manage a work-life balance. Now, if you're watching my video, you can see work life balance. They're not here. They're here where you can't see my hands. Um, because I believe it's possible to have a work balance and a life balance. And so I'm going to help show you and teach you how to do that. Whether you're in the treatment room now, whether you're starting a new business and want to start on the right foot, whether you are, um, a seasoned spa owner with 30 plus years of experience. We are going to dive in this year to figuring out how to achieve everything that you've ever wanted to achieve and how we can do it with less stress, spending less time on things that we don't love to do. We're going to identify those things that you don't love to do. We're going to spend less time on doing those and more time on the things that you love to do. The things that are most important for you to do that fulfill you in your life. And that's what I did in 2022. And so now going into 2023, well, let me tell you. So 2022, right? My husband retired. We had moved. Um, we got a boat. I mean, I spent all of the summer of 2022, um, July and August, mostly off. Yes, I worked a tiny bit, but I had a schedule that was manageable so that I could spend time with my husband on the new boat and enjoying a place that we moved to, to be near the water, on the water, to really enjoy life. And so I committed July and August really to enjoying the summer season in the beautiful state of Maine that people travel from around the world to visit. I committed to enjoying it, savoring it, taking that deep breath outside every morning, enjoying the view and a deep exhale at night with happiness and gratitude. So now here we are together in 2023. I want to show you that way. I want to help you find that balance that you need in your life. And on the journey, we're going to have some fun, some laughs. I'm going to share some great tips and tricks also some industry experts and outside of our industry experts that are experts in their field. So I hope that you keep joining me each week in the Spa Hive where we can dish all things spa and have a side of fun. If 
Hive piqued your interest even just a little bit about the Spa Hive, good news! You can learn more over at our free Facebook community. That's right, head on over to Facebook, search Spa Hive Professional Community, and join me, my Spa Hive board, and over 400 other spa, hospitality, and wellness professionals there. The community is always free, chocked full of tips, tricks, and educational content to serve you. Look forward to seeing you there.